Hello, my name is Mark Wool, and I'm the Warning Coordination Meteorologist at the National Weather Service Office in Tallahassee. I wanted to speak to you for a few minutes today about the 2020 hurricane season. It certainly has been a busy one so far. We've already had 13 named storms, and we're not even into the month of September yet. The last four of those storms gained hurricane strength, including what is predicted to be major Hurricane Laura in the western Gulf of Mexico. The NOAA outlook indicates things will not be slowing down anytime soon. And we could easily see another dozen named storms this year. In fact, September is typically the busiest month of the year in terms of the development of tropical storms and hurricanes. So even though Leon County has not been impacted directly by a storm yet this year, now is not the time to let your guard down. So how can you be prepared? Well, by now you should already have a well-stocked emergency supply kit with things like a gallon of water per person and pet per day, plenty of non-perishable food items, such as canned goods and dry goods and the like. It's stuff that's gonna get you through an extended power outage of five to maybe seven days. You're also gonna to wanna to have plenty of prescription medications. Flashlights, we do not recommend using candles for lighting. You're gonna to have to have batteries for those flashlights, a manually operated can opener, and things like that. There are plenty of lists out there to help you know what to go, what goes into your kit. One such website is hurricanes.gov. Another is ready.gov, or you can just do a simple Google search for a list of items to put in your kit. Another thing that you need to think about ahead of time is whether or not you're going to need to evacuate. Evacuation decisions should not be made lightly. Typically, we tell folks to run from the water and hide from the wind. That means if you're in a storm surge area, which most of Leon County is not, and you're ordered to evacuate, you should have plans in place to do so. Or if you live in a structure that's not built to withstand hurricane force winds, say a mobile home, then you're gonna to wanna to make plans. This year, because of the pandemic and social distancing concerns, we are recommending that folks try to make arrangements to evacuate to a friend's house or a family member outside of the threatened area. Consider community shelters as a last resort. However, if you do need to shelter in a community shelter, you're going to wanna to call and talk to your county emergency manager to see if the shelters are open and if they are yet at capacity. There's a lot of season left and it only takes one hurricane to make it a busy season for you. And we at the National Weather Service want to make sure that your family has a safe 2020 hurricane season.